in this country, and that's mirrored in the youth movement too. They, if you look at the other political forces that are contending against us, it's party, parties that have, can't even put together numbers across the board, much less among young people. Uh, they have um, some small gatherings that they magnify through social media, but really when you look at sheer numbers, they, they come nowhere, nowhere near what a PPP. Um, the thing that says a snitch visa, it is called a snitch visa. It usually means indictments are being pursued. And here this is a post from social media. The S, non-immigrant classification, is generally available to aliens who would otherwise be inadmissible to or deported from the United States. For example, due to criminal convictions or certain problems with immigration status. The statute authorizes the Secretary of Homeland Security to waive the grounds of inadmissibility. The program is particularly useful for witness. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. So far, we have completed about half of the regions and the work will be ongoing to ensure that we also have our youth conferences and youth camps in regions 10, 7, 3, 6 and part of 8 because these have not been done as yet. But from those youth camps and youth conferences we've completed, we had over 6,000 young people attending, many of whom have now formally become part of our, the youth arm of the party. I think this is an enormous number of young people. I do not think that there is any youth organization that has those numbers anywhere in our country. And as you heard in the interactive sessions at the youth camps and the youth conferences, young people speaking freely about their expectations and how they believe they can contribute to the development of our party and the country. If you look at the images coming out of these youth conferences, you will see the true nature of the People's Progressive Party and the youth movement that we are forming. It's a multi-ethnic gathering of young people. So on several counts, we're unmatched. Uh, for, first of all, in terms of sheer numbers of young people coming together. Secondly, in terms of its broad base membership. As we, we always say that the People's Progressive Party is the only multi-ethnic party in this country and that's mirrored in the youth movement too. They, if you look at the other political forces that are contending against us, it's party, parties that have, can't even put together numbers across the board, much less among young people. Uh, they have um, some small gatherings that they magnify through social media, but really when you look at sheer numbers, they, they come nowhere, nowhere near what the PPP has accomplished. And 
The reason we are attractive to young people is because we are a party that has a long history of fighting for freedom in this country, from independence to return, the return of democracy to Guyana, and then fighting off again the PNC's attempt to steal, PNC AFC attempt to steal the 2020 elections. We have a long track record of accomplishments moving Guyana forward. We have a track record of giving young people opportunities um, at various levels, but even at the highest levels in the country, um, at the ministerial level, at the presidential level. Um, I, as I pointed out in the past, and I tell young people, I, I grew up in the PYO, in the youth arm of the party, and by, 30, by in my 20s I was minister and by 35 president. I, Irfan Ali was a member of the youth arm of the party. He became a minister in his 20s and by age 40 he became the president of the country. So the youth arm of the party is an incubator for our leadership. And if you look at most of our leaders, they've come out of the youth arm of the party. They get a ground in there, they learn empathy with people, they learn about struggles, they, and that's the message that we've been speaking about at these youth camps, that it's not just about personal development, and we push our people to grow personally, those who join us at the youth level, but it's also about developing a social consciousness and about empathy with struggling people. Because if you can empathize with struggling people, then you can, you'll become pro good leaders and you will find that people's concerns would always be reflected in governance and in policy making. And that's the message we've been talking about at all of these camps, apart from the opportunity for young people to get together and socialize. So, for us, the rebuilding of our youth movement is a crucial part for the continuity of our party, for the growth of our party, and placing it in secure hands. We are still dealing with fossils in the other parties. And if you can see the age, age range, the AFC now, the new leadership, the new that they try to portray as new leaders, who have been tainted in the past, Nigel Hughes, Pat Patterson, um, Trotman, they're all are leaders from the past who have failed on every count. They've broken every promise they made in the past to the electorate. They've demonstrated they have no integrity whatsoever, but they have now reimaged themselves as the new leaders for the future. But they're all around my age, Ram Jatan and all of the others are probably even older than me, some of them. And the, the same thing with the PNC. It's an old cabal of leaders. So in, in this you will see the, itself, what we are doing. We are planning for the future. We are planning to change the guard at some point in time because we constantly do that. If you look at the, the attrition at the level of the cabinet and the attrition at the level of the leadership of the party in the central committee of the party, you will see that in the new central committee of the party, we have had 25% of the, the composition of the party are made up of people who are new. Many are young leaders. You've seen that. That is at the highest level of the party. Young leaders like Sarah Brown and, and, and Brent Null Ashley and a whole range, Charles Ramson, has come in and that, that group of people uh, around that age. And <clears throat> they're in their 30s. And uh, even at the government level, the crop of ministers in this government changed. 
<coughs> from the last government in 20, 2015. We had a lot of young people come in, and I expect that in the future, from the young PYO now, those who are trained and exposed, etc., the new crop of leaders will, will emerge at the national level. So we are looking to the future. That's how our party works. And young people have a great future in this party because they're given opportunities. It's not that APNU did not have young people. In 2015, they had a whole slew of young people who were misled and were leading the campaign. And then they discovered the true nature of the PNC and AFC as soon as they got into office. A corrupt cabal of leaders had nothing to do with you. the same people who campaigned for them, gave no opportunity to young people. I think the average age of the cabinet was near 60 and, and under APNU. And th that was how it was. So I'm very pleased with the great turnout that we have had. Boss, if I just in talking to you and you tell me to check me, but I tell, I tell Cherry, why let me get on feelings, you know, something, something happened to you. To be honest, to be honest, Mr. Moore. Yeah. And I really thank you for you do for me because when we go find this money to do this, we not even find on 3,000 and a half of a photo and time take dressing every day. Every day is have a take dressing for this thing. And you ask me, then something you gotta go clean it. Then you gotta do sorts, you gotta get admit, you gotta find tax money. Then I feel like you can get some bus or catch some carry me now, then you got higher out. And then my father do a sorty, two sorty funny belly, I show you four and eight foot. And the man be you I just think he's a hard working man. But daddy and son end up same time situation. When he do surgery, me get at me three days before we do surgery. And you can show you cut too. I feel real proud and real nice. With due respect to you and the goodness, and I thank you because I can't do proud you. And next next week, I will get this man for video and we'll show you something unexpected. When we go do after the yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell you to me and you, I want a nice picture with me and you. And I give this man here, send him to the phone, I want to stop the fire shop. And many shop, I see you go. And you help a lot of people and never put your uh, picture on the shop. So you want to do that. For the first time you help me something. And this is a big deal. And congratulations. Yeah, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And I'll do you in this country to report people them. And you don't let me down. Don't care how long you get contact with them. Don't care for one year or two years. Somehow you come to your house and do it to you. And he thanks it and thanks it. God must bless you and you will see the way all the way you like. So long you get help and bless. And also, bless the man and thank the man for his good for me too. Because the man is a true friend. He, the man that you call friend. But you yeah, never against nobody or whatsoever. The little friend them still try it. But the man helped me out and the situation when there, the man tell me about you and stop you. If I knew me can, if I knew me so, and we put a big practice, parallel, mezzo, fine coconut tree, buy coconut, do the sale, because mezzo hustler, we know one tea for a jail and lap up, and we think of a lot of people get two people. And we are living like this with it. Because we need a father now, and that's kind of what the father. Never mind this happened to me, you know, he Mohammed, he may raise, and that. He this all with the health and strength and thank you very much. Yeah. Well, I see some man with a tree, we invite him to set up a business for you. A nice custard man. The man told me a couple months ago that uh, by this year, you're going to buy a car. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's I'm that's selling that's very good. $80 uh, for custard. Mm -hmm. Custard. Mm -hmm. You see, the man sell. For 
The governments of Diana and the United Arab Emirates have signed a memorandum of understanding that allows for visa-free travel between the two nations. A Department of Public Information release has announced, describing it as a significant step towards advancing bilateral relations and easing travel restrictions. A release by the UAE mission to the United Nations stated that the move was signed on Thursday on the sidelines of the 79th session of the UN-General Assembly. It stated that President Irfan Ali met with UAE Minister of State for International Cooperation Riyam al-Hashimi to sign the document, establishing mutual exemption of entry visa requirements between the two countries. Following a recent lawsuit by Guyanese artiste Jackie Jackie Jacks Hanover and Ivan Diamond Harry Vice President Barra Jagdeo said that he feels it is time that the country's copyright laws be modernized to allow for the protection of local artists and other works which fall under the Copyright Act. He also acknowledged that this was an age-old issue and that the government has been looking to update the laws. There are citizens who are of the opinion that the country should have an appropriate legislation to govern its copyright and protect its citizens. But I believe our artists should be protected. I hope that we can advance it now we are also part of the World Trade Organization. Emphasizing that things are becoming more modern, Jadio voiced his strong support for the evolution of the framework to protect local artists, even though he admitted to having a different view some years ago. I support protection of local copyright strongly. Historically, I might have had another view because I thought the developed world at that time maybe you know dot 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 they were not protecting a lot of our stuff. The High Court last Friday ordered that businessmen Atiyo Pereira and Troy Phillips to repay their investors, Jamal Shamsuddin and Ian Shamsuddin in excess of $83 million for failing to uphold their end of the bargain in a business deal. The Shamsuddins had taken Pereira and his co-defendants to court over the sum on the grounds of a failure of consideration and unjust enrichment. The Shamsuddins had brought the claim against Pereira and Phillips both personally and in their capacity as directors, shareholders and officers of the company that operated the new Nigel supermarket. According to the court document, the issues arising for consideration before the court were whether the evidence establishes a basis for bringing a claim against the defendants in their capacity as shareholders, directors or officers of the company, whether the parties had an agreement with respect to the money advanced by the Shanshudins, if not, whether the money is repayable. The Shanshudins were represented by attorney, senior counsel, Roy Steel Ford Weil, attorney Nigel Hughes and Jed Vasconcellos represented Pereira and Phillips. Some residents Residents of Linden have expressed growing unease over the number of Venezuelan migrants in the town living in squalid conditions, and they say no help from Georgetown appears to be forthcoming for them. Since June and July this year, residents have reported feeling uncomfortable and unsafe as newcomers establish makeshift camps and compete for limited resources. One resident, who wished to remain anonymous, shared her experience when a group of 20 Venezuelans approached her home. I am a resident of Guyana, and I am disappointed in the Venezuelan demographic because they are making me uncomfortable, she stated. About two months ago, I came home one afternoon, and there were over 20 of them, children, teenagers, and adults, wanting to camp out in my yard. They said they had nothing to eat, and I gave them two packs of chow mein and two cans of tuna. Using drones, police searched the Buxton, East Coast Demerara backlands for Joshua David, who was allegedly abducted on Thursday from Main Street in Georgetown. The search took place on Saturday between 15 and 19 HRS and included ranks on feet but yielded no evidence of value. David, known as Bricks, was reportedly taken outside the new thriving Chinese restaurant while with a friend. According to reports in other sections of the media, CCTV footage showed the abductors arriving on two motorcycles and in a car, forcibly taking David and fleeing north along Main Street before last being spotted along the east coast of Demerara. In connection with the case, the Guyana Police Force has issued wanted bulletins for five suspects, Aaron Allen alias Katz, Alpha Cool, Wayne Barker, Dwayne Griffith, and Osafo Peters alias Sadist. Authorities are urging the public to come forward with any information regarding these individuals as the search for David continues. The Guyana Police Force has issued wanted bulletins for five individuals in connection with the abduction of Joshua David, known locally as Bates. The incident occurred on September 27th on May. The Guyana Police Force has issued wanted bulletins for five individuals in connection with the abduction of Joshua David, known locally as Bricks. The Georgetown Public Hospital Corporation is currently seeking bids for the construction of a new building for the Campbellville Health Center. The GPHC in its tender stated that the construction works are estimated to cost $766. 
2 million in bidding will be conducted through the national competitive bidding procedures specified in the Procurement Act 2003 and are open to all eligible qualified bidders. This publication understands that the decision to have a new building constructed is to properly improve the infrastructure of the health center so as to introduce more services for patients coming there, which will be able to take the load off of the GPHC. It is a very old building and what has happened over the years is that pieces were add-on, add-on and so it's very old. It's leaking. When it rains, it floods. There is no proper logical flow for patient care because there were pieces of things that were built all around so there is no proper logical flow for patient care and the processing of patients, he explained. So I gotta go into this thing deeply. But let me tell you this. I learned of a new phrase over the weekend. I like to share knowledge. A new word. A new phrase I learned over the weekend. And let me share it with you all. It is named, um, the thing that says a snitch visa. It is called a snitch visa. It usually means indictments are being pursued. And here this is a post from social media. The S, non-immigrant classification, is generally available to aliens who would otherwise be inadmissible to or deported from the United States, for example, due to criminal convictions or certain problems with immigration status. The statute authorizes the Secretary of Homeland Security to waive the grounds of inadmissibility. The program is particularly useful for witnesses or informants who would otherwise be in danger in their own countries. It is, it is also a substantial benefit for many other witnesses and informants who might not otherwise be able to le able legally to enter or remain in the United States of America. It is called a snitch visa. And social media is a buzz with allegation that a certain character, a certain well-known character, was recently given a snitch visa. And they say, we should get a snitch visa because indictments may be imminent indictments may be coming soon and we are talking about indictments in Guyana talking about indictments in the United States that is what we understand I understand too from social media that a certain um a certain persons a certain person sorry last night last night Sunday night going to some bar and somebody lashing in the head with a bottle and you know who, you taking the wrong who lash in the head in bottle and so on. And the person say on social media that the person who lash it, they got a special place for heaven for him. The place with air condition and Wi-Fi. So in other words, they're applauding the person for lashing in the head with a bottle. I don't um, condone violence. I don't. We're not going to condone violence on this thing. But you have follow up and they were really going on. And this person, I should say, is alleged to have had his visa review refused just a few short months ago. Went to the U.S. Embassy for a visa, and the report is that it was refused. And there's a video circulating in on social media over the weekend where the same person is now seen in New York, somewhere in the Times Square area. And somebody called out to him, and he looked back, and he responded, and so on. And they asked him the question, how is it? This man had his uh, application for visa revoked just a few months ago, and now we're in the U.S. But then this article talks about a snitch visa. You know what's a snitch? A snitch vika, a rat, a snitch, a couture. Ah, guy needs to be familiar with these uh, words. At least the older people, people of my ilk. Snitch, rat, couture, kachar. All of these are words used to describe uh, people, a certain type of people. But they're saying that the snitch visa is given to someone is generally available to aliens who would otherwise be inadmissible or or to admissible to or deportable from the United States. For example, due to criminal convictions of certain problems with immigration status, the statute authorizes the Secretary of Homeland Security to waive most grounds of inadmissibility. The program is particularly useful for witnesses or informants who would otherwise be in danger in their own countries. 
it is also substantial is a, a, a substantial benefit for many other witnesses and informants who might not otherwise be able legally to enter and remain in the United States. Things are happening. It looked like things are happening. Man, that turned on for visa a couple of months ago, and the man there in the States, they might call you out, and he responded, and then he back in Guyana, so I lashed in the head with Bartle last night. No, 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 no. This is not um, usual. This is not usual. Let me bring in Mr. Conway, man. See, see, uh, you, you, this is the reason thing we're hearing about, why right? look like, mm. like, like uh, more in the matter than the person. Yeah, got, 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 got to be, you know. And perhaps they want, they want the person to whistle, you know. They want the person to whistle. And perhaps the person has gone there and, 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 and whistle, snitch. So, the, 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 the whole thing is that they, you get turned on and they give a visa. There had to be a purpose for giving you that visa. So you could snitch and all things. So, more, more, I'm certain that more is going to develop. Many more things are going to develop about that visa issue. No, they, they, they want to ask for sure. I don't have the video. I cite on social media. You can go on social media and, and Google and find this video. I don't have the, the video. And if I had it, I would have shown it. If I had it, I would have shown it. But let me come to the next matter. Let me move on. Time running fast. Let me move on. Please. Yo, no. You're thinking about me? I love your son. I love your son. I love your son. I love your son. Am I right? Am Get up! Get up! Me in the process, yeah, with me. Right, in the process yeah, of yeah, me, yeah, he had a mix up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, hey, hey. Love. Yo, do a video. Release. We got to the station. Station. Do a video. Yeah, let's run. Oh, come this side. Hey, you get one in by. You guys, yeah. 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 Watch me. You got a set in the process. Yeah, yeah. Video. I got you. I'm over the goal. No, 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 no. Take it, take it. Let me make sure it's, it's what you give me. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This is one chain. One chain. Three chain. The street chain. Two chain. Three. Three chain. Protects. Protects. Three chain. Protects. 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 You're right thing or not? Come on, check it out. 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 Come on, check it out.
Yeah, let me go now. Yo, brother. Let me go. We can't allow you to go. We can't clear for my business. Yeah, relax. Move it. 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 Move She'll call you Mr. C. I thought Mavis had tendered a resignation. Huh? From party and politics. But apparently that's not the case. May is, May is on leave and receiving pay. Troy Fraser. You wonder why May is smiling? May is still on the job, on leave, and receiving pay. Now, May pay alone as a PS. So, May running the ministry from home. Right? Um, he was put on bail. How much, how much money were you put on bail, around $20,000 bail. And what was, the, what, was the, um, what was the reason for you to be put on bail? What it, court. He had to go to court for what? Playing music in church for playing keyboard, but honorably, can you please come? What did the officer say to you? I have to go to court because of playing music for, for church and giving God the praise and thanks. Yes, sir. And uh, that's why they, they, they said that I get charged and I have to go to court for that. All right. Because, uh, Amen. The 18th, the 18th of November, I have to go to court. 